I've spent the past two weeks creating this realistic simulation of a black hole. How? Well, today I'm going to show you the entire process of how I made it. To start, I had to learn some physics. To calculate the force of attraction between the black hole, which has a centre of mass at 0, 0, and the object, I had to use this formula. F equals G M1 M2 over R squared, where G is the gravitational constant of 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. M1 and M2 represent the masses of the two objects, and R represents the distance between them. I can calculate the distance with Pythagoras' theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I can calculate A and B because they were just the horizontal and vertical differences in coordinates. By substituting A and B for those values, I had the distance R, which I can now plug into the formula. I set the mass of the object to its width multiplied by its height and the mass of the black hole to 1 times 10 to the power of 13. Now I can plug those two values into the formula and calculate the force of attraction. Before we go on, I'm going to quickly explain three of the six basic trigonometry functions. To start, we have a right angled triangle here. We'll call this angle theta, which just means it's a missing variable that we have to find. The hypotenuse, or the longest side of our triangle, is the one opposite the right angle. The adjacent side is the one touching theta, and the opposite is the one opposite theta. Now the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cosine is equal equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse and the tangent is the opposite of the adjacent. You can remember this with the acronym SOCATOA. Now, if we look at the object, there's a right angle triangle we can draw where the hypotenuse is the force. In this right angle triangle, we need to calculate angle theta. The tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent or distance y over distance x. Therefore, the arc tangent of y over x or the inverse tangent of y over x is equal to theta. We have distance y and distance x. We calculated them earlier when finding the distance with Pythagoras theorem. In Python, we can use the math module to find the arc tangent, so now we have theta. To find the force x of our object, we find the cosine of angle theta. Remember that the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so that's force x over the force. We can isolate for the force x by multiplying by the force. We do the same for force y, except that it's the sine of angle theta. The sine is just the opposite over the hypotenuse, so the force y over the force. Again, we can isolate for the force y by multiplying by the force. Now we can add these x and y forces to our x and y velocity, and then add our x and y velocity to our x and y position. Now we have an object moving towards the black hole. I added some basic controls for changing the forces and now we can create some pretty cool things.